here we are, leaving our beautiful little house in North Bend. I can't see anything, it's not about an hour, I don't really care about this right now. <laughs> but we're leaving, we're packed, we're ready to go, Elf! And we're finally here as a whole family! Good neighbors, dropped our stuff. Not too much carnage since I've been gone. Anya hasn't even seen this since, other than the videos, since the container was basically right here. Neither of you, Elf. Look at your coat. Look at your coat. Tap. Hey. Hey? Quite big, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's a lot better than it was last time. <laughs> Tell someone to come on there already. <laughs> nice day, still a bit of a gong show here, but I won't take long to make her nice. Tips found a new little home. What do you think, baby? Right. Yeah? No. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> we got some work to do. We got about a week, uh, nine days till the barge comes in. I have even more work to do with that, but we'll just have a bite to eat and uh, make a plant. With a long couple of weeks behind us, it was time to meet the neighbors and show the pups their new home. It was clear that Tip immediately loved it. They're my puppies. Yes. You be nice. I know. I know. You're just a goof. You're just a goof. Alfie still had his reservations, though. I now had the daunting task of trying to fit more into the container and make it functional for everyday living. With little storage space and the four of us in it, it was going to be tight. Oh, ah. You... You gotta stop doing that! Right, Elf? He needs to stop doing a lot of things, doesn't he? I like container living, isn't it? Yeah, we're still a mess here, but slowly winning. Danya had a great idea to raise this shelf seven inches, so we actually have room down here, and then I put this little top on so it's all level and we can keep it clean and Little chunks of food don't fall down into it. Yeah, these guys are becoming friends. Whether Alfie likes it or not. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> hey. Well, that's nice. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Get by a vicious monster. <laughs> Day three. What do you think so far? <laughs> so it's a bit tough at times, but getting there. Get out of there! These guys, especially this guy, is an added element I didn't think about. <laughs> We've got our little star link here. Try and just temporarily set it up somewhere. Yeah, doesn't look like much from this angle. <laughs> we'll show you that later. We got this little EcoFlow too. I wish I got the 3600 watt, but 1800 works pretty good. So that's what's charging this or running this for now. And it's a shit show like normal. So anyway, well, I was gonna film this as it was happening, but it literally took about 30 seconds told much longer but we are connected 
getting updates. Yeah, like 30 seconds. Plugged it in up top. I gotta fasten it a bit better up there. Uh, I'm gonna run the generator with it just for the startup, and then we'll run it through our EcoFlow. Um, but we're online already. It's incredible. Anyway, other things to do. Anya's happy now. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Any reservations I had melted away over the coming weeks. With the incredible scenery that greeted us every day, it made all the challenges and stress worth it. Okay, I'll give you guys a little quick walkthrough of the container. Uh, put a lot of time into trying to organize it, but um, obviously this is all just temporary while uh, we're building because we're going to build a second floor. We need to frame it. We need to spray foam it. We need to put footings down. So there's still a little bit of work ahead of us, but uh, for now, this is what it's like inside. So let's have a look. Okay. So definitely more organized now. Um, at the front here, we have our battery pack, which we charge all our electrical stuff off of. And then down here in these bins, we just have our day-to-day -day food. So it's like a little pantry storage. And then up here we have toiletries and dog food and random knickknacks. And then on this side, I um, have my beautiful kitchen. So down here I have a lot of a lot more food storage and then you know cutlery and bowls and cups and whatnot. Um, and then that's my beautiful view out the window. Doesn't really get better than that. And then um, up here I found a piece of driftwood, so just added some screws and now we can hang all our pots and pans. So it just keeps it clutter out of the way. And here's our Coleman stove that we use for cooking. We do have an oven. We just haven't connected it yet. It, it is a propane oven, so we will at some point. But for now, this works pretty good. And then uh, we have our wood fire stove. Um, and up here, we just kind of hang out all our clothes um, to dry. And obviously our shoes as well, because it's always pretty wet. So... Good way to dry them and then our couch um doug has his clothes in these bins we have our bed and there's alfie little snooze and then this is tip's bed down here alfie either sleeps on the couch or with us so depending on his mood um <laughs> and then i have my beautiful desk up here yay so i now have a little spot to do my editing and then back here I have a couple bins of clothing as well and then more food and dog food and electrical and whatnot so just storage for now and then back here we made a really makeshift um, greenhouse which is awesome um, so 
we can control the temperature a little bit and how much water they're getting because it does rain up here a lot um, so as you can see I've already got a lot of plants uh, more coming <laughs> and more outside but it's a um, great little spot so I'm really happy with that and so that's really it it is just a 40 foot container so <laughs> there isn't too much to show but uh, that's kind of how we are at now so if you do have any questions or anything write in the comments um, and we'll get back to you soon but uh, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough